Hey everybody, welcome back to Supercard. So, Team PCC has been going on. Um, I woke up around, I don't know, 9 o'clock this morning. And we're about uh, 300 or so points into Charlotte. Of course, being 9 o'clock, that's too early for me. I fell back asleep. Uh, it's almost 2 o'clock right now. And it's all done, so that's perfect. So, what we're going to do is here, we're going to claim this reward. After uh, after we're done waiting on the network. So you didn't get a video from me um, yesterday. I'm actually just going to... No, I'm not going to claim the other cards yet. It's just going to waste time. I'll do it later. Uh, you didn't get a video from me uh, last night. Uh, it was a combination of just me being tired. Because I'm always... Uh, Oh, sorry. I'm always a little bit messed up. Um, after I've been doing overnight shifts. Uh, cause, you know, I did the Friday and the Saturday. So Friday to Saturday morning, Saturday to Sunday morning. The night shifts kind of mess me up whenever I do that for the next day or two. So, um, yeah. Uh, this King of the Ring, uh, I've barely energized I just gave up really there's three other humans so should be able to win oh yeah I've got to change this um yeah and for yesterday I just didn't you know for lack of better words right now I didn't feel like uh, doing a video and if if I don't feel like doing one I'm not gonna do one I don't want to force myself into making a video because I'm sure you know almost right away you will be able to tell that that I'm just not into it when I'm doing it like I don't feel like I should be making a video or that I don't want to take the time and it's not like anything bad had happened it was just yesterday I just I didn't feel like doing a video it was just I was just tired I was beat and I didn't want to try and uh, force myself to uh, oh, to um, to stay awake. So yeah, there's that. So raw last night. Um, it was great to see AJ Styles win. He was up against uh, Chris Jericho. Uh, the Rock came back in a segment I thought went on for too long. Like, don't get me wrong, I like The Rock, but. Every time he comes back, it's just his greatest hits with someone else. That's it. I did like how um, when he was talking to the big show saying, oh yeah, like, you know, you actually won that Royal Rumble. The director of The Mummy Returns said, whoever wins this Rumble will be the Scorpion King. Uh, I did actually find his exchange with, uh, with Big Show pretty funny. Uh, that point where he got out of the ring to talk to the guys, you know, dressed up as, uh, as Hogan, Undertaker, uh, Macho Man, and himself. The funny part with that was they were originally on the other side of the ring, uh, front row as well, and the crowd was cheering for them. You could hear it in the, the Bray Wyatt and Kane match, you know, I don't blame them. Who the hell wants to watch that match again? So they were all chanting you know randy savage and stuff like that that's who they were chanting for were those guys so years ago when I, i'm not talking like 10 years ago i'm talking like two years ago um the wwe would actually have those people like kicked out for dressing up and people chanting for them because you know it was distracting from the product which wasn't you know what they wanted it's good now that all they do is just move their spots because you know these are some of your biggest fans like biggest wrestling fans you know they're dressing up as their favorite wrestlers after they've paid with their own money to come go see your event which sole purpose is to make money and you're gonna kick them out because they're big fans it's it always annoyed me when I found out you know these people were getting kicked out just for dressing up there's nothing wrong with that. But they were moved to the other side, so at least... Sorry, I got like an eyelash in my eye. 
they were moved to the other side of the ring. Just so at least they weren't. Oh god, this is bad in my eye. <laughs> so um, you know, they weren't on camera. They weren't distracting. And you know, Rock saw them anyways and came out and gave them some time on screen. So you know, it looks like it uh, didn't work. You know, if the Rock wasn't out there, if the Rock wasn't the one to go out and talk to them. I'm pretty sure that person would be fired right now for for doing that. But, um, you know, either way, they got their screen time. They even got uh, to use a microphone, so good for them. Okay, now I want to talk about uh, the main event. So we found out at Raw last night that the main event of Fastlane is going to be... Uh, Roman Reigns against Dean Ambrose against Brock Lesnar with the winner facing Triple H at WrestleMania. Well, you can already see what's going to happen here. The Wyatt family's going to interfere and beat up Brock Lesnar. So then he's taken out of the match and Roman Reigns is going to pin Dean Ambrose. So Dean Ambrose is able to defend his title at WrestleMania. Roman Reigns goes on to face Triple H, and Brock Lesnar is pulled out so that in feud with the Wyatt family. The only one out of the only situ scenario I like out of those three scenarios that are going to happen is Dean Ambrose defending the his title at WrestleMania. See, here's the problem with this whole Roman Reigns and Authority storyline going on right now. They just spent pretty much a month trying to get the belt off of Roman Reigns. You know, putting a special guest referee match and she with Vince McMahon, and he's defending it against Sheamus. This thing, this thing, always annoys me, especially when Vince McMahon is involved and they keep you know setting up all these impossible challenges so that they lose their title he's the he's the ceo why doesn't he just strip them of the title and fire them if he hates them that much it's it's just something that's always bothered me like in the royal rumble they they put him through a table and then they just left him on the floor why didn't they put him back in the ring and then throw him out just to make sure he couldn't come back and almost win? You know, like, that's the kind of thing Dr. Evil would do. It's just stupid. But, you know, they finally get the title off of him at the Royal Rumble, where it's on Triple H. They have to decide for Fastlane who's in the match to decide who goes against Triple H. They've already been trying to take that title belt off Roman Reigns for so long. They finally get it off, and what do they do? They give him a chance to end, to go against Triple H at WrestleMania. It's ridiculous. I can't believe, like, just, there's no logic sometimes. And, you know, we're treated like idiots for for playing along but if if uh, they didn't have so many injuries uh, we wouldn't be seeing this match uh, I don't know who would have won the Royal Rumble if all these people weren't injured maybe it still would have been Triple H anyways just to take on Seth Rollins at Wrestlemania that would have been cool but uh, yeah I don't really know uh, what's going on with that but anyways that's gonna be it for today thank you all for watching please take care